Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for all my new friends, hi. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you click off this video channel because I'm telling you, like in the future, in a little bit, it's gonna be popping, it's gonna be lit. You're gonna wish you would have been subscribed. So go ahead and do that, okay? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But yes, today I'm gonna be telling y'all all about my nipple rings and my Christina Pearson. And if you ain't familiar with the Christina Pearson, I'm gonna insert a picture right now to show y'all. That's the Christina Pearson, and if you're interested in hearing more, make sure you stay tuned. <laughs> But I'm going to order in which I got them, which was my Christina Pearson. I've had this for almost one year. I got it in January of this year, January 5th to be exact. Um, it was a kind of a spirit of the moment thing. It actually was a spirit of the moment thing. I was at home working out, and in the middle of me doing sit up, I just literally sat up. And I was like, I'm going to get a Christina Pearson. Now, prior to me getting it, like months before I got it, I was um, doing research on it, watching reviews about it, and everything was just reading up on it. So, hang on. Cause I don't want to follow you. <laughs> but yeah, I was doing my research on it, and I really wanted one, but I was kind of too, I wasn't afraid, but I really, every time it was time for me to go, I just like, came up with an excuse but bitch on january 5th i don't know what had gotten into me um yeah so my grandmother actually went with me out my grandma went she did not know anything let me tell you how i finessed her so i called and i was like hey grandma what you doing it's like seven seven o'clock i was like what you doing blah 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 Long story short, and I, I asked her to come ride with me because I had the kids with me. And obviously, you know, they can't go in there. Well, they can, but you know how it go. So I, I told her that my Traeger Pearson, which is this, had closed. Okay. But I told her that my Traeger Pearson had closed and I was going to get real. So I picked her up, we drove, and the place I went to was like 20 minutes away from the house. So we went and she actually sat in the car. She didn't want to go in. So I go in. And I'm like, hey, may I help you? I'm like, yeah. Um, I just called about the Christina Pearson, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, they had me to sign my forms, all this and that, swipe my card, and pick out the jewelry. No, 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 no. The piercer, she was like, um, did I want to pick? the jewelry or did I want her to make the jewelry? I'm like, make the jewelry? What the? It's like, no, I don't, I don't know what you mean. I'm gonna just, you know, let me get this one. So anyway, so I'm sitting there nervously waiting on the couch. And like, they were taking so long, like I had really changed my mind. And so I saw the sign, it was like, no refund. No refund. Wait. So yeah, so I just decided to go ahead and go through it, and I think this was seventy or eighty dollars, something like that. I think it was seventy, and then with the purchase of the um, H two Ocean Spray, it was like eighty, eighty five, something. I don't know. But yeah, so we went to the back, <laughs> and I was like, "Can I use the restroom first? Like, I was so nervous, y'all. Like, I was literally shaking. So, I went to go in the bathroom. And I didn't have to use. I was standing there trying to gather my nerves, calm myself. Went back out. She was like, um, sit down in the chair. Can I sit down there? Yeah, sit down in the chair. Sit down in the chair. While she got everything ready. And then I had to take my legs off. Woo! So... I sat in the chair, this is the position that 
had to sit in because I thought that I would lay down, but no, you don't lay down. Well, so they, she had me sit in the chair and like hold my legs up. And she leaned the top part of her chair back a little bit. So, man, so she got the clamp and she was just, you know, like putting it on there and marking it. Well, she marked it then. The clamp, that is the, I think that is what makes the piercing hurt because, like, so much pressure, like, that damn thing hurts so bad. If you've ever gotten a piercing like your tragus piercing, nipple piercing, anything, you know those clamps are the worst. So, she clamped the little area right there, and I'm just like, <laughs> so she's like, take a deep breath, was it take a deep breath in or out? Yeah, take a deep breath in. So when I inhale, she just stuck the needle and I screamed like a little bitch. Like I screamed. It was like, ah, like, and it was, man, on a pain scale of one to 10, with 10 being the worst, I would rate my Christina Pearson probably, I give it an honest, I don't know why I screamed, but I did. But I will give it a second. And the healing process, it was really, it healed really good. It did not, it, yeah, it did not take long to heal. I actually changed it out myself because, and it was before time too, because I was taking a shower and I heard, well, y'all know how it sounds like metal hit. I heard that, and I look down, it's my ball, and as I'm trying to catch it, it goes on down the drain, and I'm just like, no, so I jump out of the shower, and then luckily I stopped out like on body jewelry, because I have like Traeger piercing, I've had my tongue pierced before, I had a Monroe piercing, so I like, I just stopped out on body jewelry, so I ran in there, grabbed one, I sat down on the toilet, and I just the old one out and put the new one in and I've had no problems with this thing like I literally love it I don't know like I'm a weirdo y'all but like that by far is my favorite piercing and I was scared that my body was rejecting it because like during the healing process what during the healing process um the whole like at the top was like kind of stretched and the ball was just like sunken down in it and I'm like oh my god no but it was perfectly fine it was okay I went and got a a week checkup and everything was fine like I said I've had no problems I take this out when I go get my Brazilian waxes and I put it right back in like it does not hurt it literally stopped hurting like maybe a week and a half after I got it but yeah, that's one of my favorite piercings. Um, I don't know, this is really cute. That picture I showed y'all, you know, that I got nothing on my hands, okay? <laughs> Alright, so next, the nipple. Now, if you have watched one of my school vlogs before, um, if you're an oldie and you've been rocking with me since I've been putting out content, then you no, when I went and got these done, it's been a few months ago. Um, now these were, they were kind of planned, like maybe a week or two prior to me getting them. And everybody, like my cousin, she was supposed to went with me, but she do hair. And the day that we were supposed to went, she was like, well, I got an appointment at such and such. Can we go at this time? I was just like, girl. No, because I'm already leaving school. I gotta pick the kids up. Like either I do it right now or I ain't doing it. So I went by myself. Oh yeah, and y'all, yeah, I did tell my grandma eventually. Like, look, I showed her and she cussed me out, of course. But yeah, and she was just wanting to know when you went and got that. I was like, you was with me. You was in the car. That's when I told you about the Traeger piercing. But yeah. 
but back to the new one. So yeah, um, I just, after school one day, I drove to the same place I went who did the Christina Pearson. And they actually did my Monroe Pearson too when I was in high school, y'all. You know? But I went and I went in and I was just like, hey, I want my nipple pierced. So you don't get to pick out jewelry for these. But, um, well, I don't know. The lady I had was kind of a bitch, so she picked it out. So anyway, um, went to the back. And with these, you do lay down and get them. So she had me to take my shirt off, take my bra off. And if she wanted me to stand up so she could mark them to see what she was going to do. Y'all could see them through the shirt. But she marked them and then had me to lay down. So here's the thing. One of your nipple piercings, if you're going to get nipple piercings, or if you have them, then you already know I'm not lying one of your nipple piercings will hurt more than the other it will like it will so she did the right one pinched it with the clamp stuck the needle through i was just like oh my god so that was that you know put it in i'm looking at it this the left one it was like oh my god like she had to ram it like literally like it sounded like sticking a knife or a safety pin through some leather or something i don't know like it was really tough and with that one i screamed i cussed and i screamed and it hurt it and i was just like oh my god oh my god oh my god but it was fine on a pain scale one to ten i rate the right one probably like a, a eight and a half and then the left was definitely a 10 without a doubt it was a 10 i'm not exactly so with these things they're so tricky because um like i said when they do piercings they have to give you long jewelry and they gave me long jewelry to have room for swelling but the thing about that i didn't swell not one bit like they did not swell they was just like really sore and i was surprised because like right after she pierced them she told me to put my bra on so i'm thinking like once you get your nipples pierced like you're gonna wear a bra for a few days you know she was like no you're gonna want to wear a bra trust me you're gonna keep it like pressed so i'm like mm, no i'm not so anyway, I put my bra back on, but she covered it with the little um, gauze pads. She, I put my bra back on, I came home, um, and she did say it was okay to shower. So like about two hours after I got in, I got in the shower. Once I took that bra off, bitch, I was like, oh my God, like, oh no. And when the water hit it, I thought I was going to pass out. I thought I was gonna pass out, but no, I did not pass out. Um, so they were okay. The healing with these, like I said, they're a little tricky. You will think, women, you will think that they've healed, and and then next thing you know, you waking up like the little crusty things around. You just get your antibacterial soap and you clean it. Period. I actually still have my piercing um, rings in here. The ones that they were pierced with. I'm going to get them changed out and I'm going to let them do it because I need to see how they do it. I'm scared. Like, I'm literally scared to change these myself. I don't know why. I just, I am. So, I'm going to let them do it first and then after that, I should be able to do it. But, uh, what was I about to say? Yes, the H2 Ocean Spray, if you're going to get any piercing, I highly, highly recommend that you purchase the H2 Ocean Salt Water Spray because sea salt spray, whatever it's called, I don't know. It comes in a little blue bottle that the mermaid lay on it. But you spray after you cleaned it with your antibacterial soap, you spray that. Whoo, child! I think that really would help like speed up my healing process because I stayed spraying it. Like I went through a huge bottle. I really went through it. Um, they're going to tell you get the softy antibacterial soap, the clear kind. 
So, yes, I knew I had to say it. Hang on one second. Let me go grab this damn soap if I still have it. Okay. Y'all see this? Y'all see this softy, this, this soft soap antibacterial? First of all, this is the wrong. This ain't even, the, the correct one says softy, not soft soap. But my stupid ass, I saw soft and then antibacterial. And I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. do not. And I repeat, in the name of Jesus, do not get this soap. I don't give a damn if y'all don't see the right soap that's in there. Go to another soap. Do not get this. Let me tell y'all. I think that had a part in, did I get that with my nipples or here or my Christine Chris? I don't know, but um, that's not the one. <sighs> Bitch. That ain't it. That is not that. Don't get that. I don't have no more of the softy soap, the correct kind that you supposed to have. But this one is, it says crisp clean and like it has like a little mild smell to it. Man, this will delay your healing process. This will delay your healing process. It will make your air, it is, it, it, bitch, don't get that, okay? The one you're supposed to get, like, has no smell, no um, color to it, just clear. And it's like, it comes in a small little thing, a little thing that you can pump out. And it has, like, fish in the background, little fish swimming out in the background on the wallpaper. Wallpaper, sticker, whatever. But, yes, this ain't it, and don't ever get it. <laughs> but I clean. I kept my Christina Pearson clean. Like I was constantly cleaning it, and it was a little struggle because I'm like, damn, I'm going to work. How am I gonna do that? But I did it. Like I would put my soap in my bag. I had my Q-tip, everything that I needed. And mind y'all, I'm in the medical field, so everything that I did need, if I needed gauze or anything, it was there at work. So that was a plus. So I was just going like the. One in the bathroom and hey, clean it cause just cause I'm at work, like I'm gonna keep this clean. Like I'm not finna sit up here and no. So oh yes, and my I told y'all that I take this out when I get waxes, of course. But my first wax after I got this, I did not take it out. She was like, Can you take that out? And I was like, No. I can't, I cannot take that out. I cannot take it out. So she just like waxed around it and then tweezed the little area. I want to stand up, but yeah. But she like tweezed the little middle area where she couldn't wax and it was perfectly fine. But now I take it out, put it back in, it's fine. Um, let's see. I was afraid that it was going to get caught on my underwear. I like to wear lace underwear sometimes. I've never had it snagged. If it hadn't snagged, I haven't had any problems with that. As far as these, um, it hadn't snagged on any shirts or bras. But what it has done is like I noticed that like if I'm getting out of the shower or something, I don't have my shirt on, my hair is down. Like little strands of hair would like get wrapped around it and when I try to pull it, it would like pull a little bit. But as far as that, I didn't have any more problems with it. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's, I haven't gotten it caught on anything. But if you're thinking about getting these piercings, the main things you need to make sure is that one, you go to a clean professional piercer. Make sure you know they're opening the needle in front of you, disposing of it. Make sure you keep it clean. You follow the directions. Don't be touching it with your hand. You know, make sure you always wash your hands before you clean your piercing. Like that's mandatory. Please wash your hands before you clean it, before you touch it. But don't just be touching it to play with it. Like let it heal. Clean it. Leave it alone, and it'll be fine. But yeah. I absolutely love my piercings. I do not regret getting them and I plan on keeping them for a long time. So yeah, that is that. If y'all have any questions or any comments, just leave them below. 
If you follow me on Instagram, DM me with friends on well don't write me on Facebook because I don't I don't check my messages on this. But you can DM me on Instagram. I put my IG name up here and you can write me on Snap. Here's my Snap name as well. So yeah dogs. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, stay beautiful, stay healthy, stay blessed, stay drama free. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.